Hi everyone, it's Lacey and welcome back to my channel and today I'll be filming the first episode of the series Lacey's Cookdown and today we'll be making a classic breakfast which is an egg sandwich or scrambled eggs on toast so we're going to be making the scrambled eggs the microwave way so yeah, let's get on to the video so the things you'll need are semi-skimmed milk which is the green milk and you'll need some eggs. It doesn't matter what eggs they are, just make sure that the eggs. <laughs> and then you'll need a bowl to put all the ingredients in, a fork to whisk, oh, and the bowl has to be microwavable, so just put it in the microwave, and a plate to put our final product on. So, yeah, let's get on to the video. <laughs> so, I've already started the like ingredient bit, so I'm just going to run through it with you now. So, in my bowl, as you can see, I've got a little mixture of like creamy white, not white, creamy yellow. And so, what you're going to do is you're going to get two eggs or three eggs if you're really hungry. You're going to crack them into the bowl. Make sure there are no eggshells. And then you're going to take your fork and you're going to whisk it until the egg yolks are busted then you're going to add two to three tablespoons of milk which i've already done that and you're going to whisk it full like until it becomes the pastel yellow color that mine is stir it and you're going to stir it until it's nice and thin and it looks really runny make sure you're not so make sure you're not like stirring it in like clockwise or anti-clockwise position going to make sure that you stir it side to side or up to down so like that because then it's making all the bubbles go away so yeah once you have done that you're going to leave it to set for about 30 to 45 seconds and to let it go room temperature so while that's happening I'm going to put my ingredients away We have parent supervision because the microwave can get hot and yeah so I think this is ready so let's go and set it up for the microwave so that's my microwave right there I'm going to put it in And the times may cook a little bit different, but my microwave is 700 watts. So for 700 watts, you will do the first 45 seconds, take it out, whisk it, and then another minute. Then if you have 800 watts, do it for 30 seconds, and then 45 seconds. So yeah, you can also put it in for longer if it's not the consistency that you want. And yeah, I'm just going to get my fork so I'm prepared to whisk it. And make sure you wash the fork because it has the raw egg. And if you're touching it with a cooked egg, it's not going to really taste nice. So I'm just going to clean my fork and then we're going to get on to the cooking. So remember, 30 seconds or 35 seconds. So, one, two, guys while we wait for that to cook i'm going to talk about some stuff that are coming up for this channel so once we hit 10 subscribers we will be doing a q a and all the questions could be from you guys and we might make some of our own just so you get to know us and yeah and then we're going to do a day in life of quarantine tween 
and because I'm a tween and my sister Tegan, who's the other owner of this channel, is a teen. And so, yeah, I'm going to be doing that, that's going to be fun. And we're going to be doing a video at two subscribers or whenever we have free time because we've got a lot of free time. And it will be 50 things to do when you're bored during quarantine. So I think that is done, so I'm going to check on it. Let's get my clock. So when you open it, it should be a little bit puffy and it should like deflate like that. So that means that it's done. Right, and then if you're a young kid, make sure you get your parent to take it out because it's going to be hot. So I'm just going to show you the consistency of it. So it's got some fluffy bits that I meant to be like, which are the scrambled eggs. I'm just going to go like that. And break them apart and then you're going to whisk it because obviously there's still lots of yolk in it but it's not turning and we're going to do it for 45 or 60 minutes okay i'm just going to take something oops i think i just saw a shell You guys, I'm just gonna find a shell that I saw. Okay, I've just got the shell out. So now let's carry on. Number 45, if you've got 800 watts, then 700 a minute. Or you can do less or more. So three, two, one, two, three. Yeah, so guys, what have you been like up to during quarantine? Because I really want to know because like all I've been doing is just going in my hot tub that I bought last summer and just been like chilling, watching my favourite YouTubers and yeah. So once that my microwave pings, that means it'll be ready because that'll be in one minute. So I'm just gonna wait for that to ping. <laughs> yeah, so once you're done, well once that's almost done, oh, just finished, you're gonna get your plate, put it down. You just take all the smoke out, is in the smoke, but take it out. These eggs are perfect. I think they're all done. Lovely, fluffy eggs. They may look a bit oily, but that's if you just stir them, then all the like, oil will come off them. So look, and they smell really good, and these are really high in protein. And so, yeah, if you want your kids to have a healthy breakfast, then I would definitely go for this. But if you want them to have an even more healthy breakfast, you could use whole grain bread or 50-50 bread. But I only have white bread today, so I'm going to be using that. So, come with me to get my bread bun. There's my bread cupboard and my carb cupboard. It's got like lots of baking stuff and like spaghetti and stuff. So here's the buns, they're quite big. That's the size I want. I'm just going to get some of them out. And they're called Four White Minute Stir Teas. But I don't want a small, humongous. Yeah. Got one out and now we're going to cut it. Make sure and make sure for a parent to do this or ask their supervision to help you with this. Because these, you'll have to use like a chef or, or a bread knife or something. And you make it yourself so you might want some help. I'm going to put the other bread bun back in my car cupboard and yeah, let's go back to where we were before. Okay, I'm back now. You're going to put your eggs aside and wait for them to cool because they will be steaming hot. So now you're going to get a knife 
Could be a serrated knife, it doesn't have to be. But I'm going to use a serrated knife. If you don't know what a serrated knife is, it's a knife with like little bump blades. So, you're just going to work that. You've got to be really careful to make sure it's in the middle. Because if it's not in the middle, then you're going to end up with the bottom half being like only half a bun and the top half being like one and a half. And make sure you cut it all around so you get can get all the egg in. Okay, I've, I've just done the best job that I've ever done before. <laughs> so yeah, here we put it. So you're going to put the bottom bun on first, obviously. Then you're going to get your eggs, bring them over here. I'm going to put my bread bun there. So you're going to get your fork or a spoon. And you're going to just take the eggs out in chunks. And you just put it on the bread. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the eggs, guys. And this is my bread. If you make sure you can squish it down because that will help it stick. So then, like, none of it like goes out when you try and take a bite. But you don't have to. Make sure not to press too hard because then it'll just like fall through the bread, and that would be really nice. So, guys, it's looking really good. If you want, like, comment down below what other ideas you want me to bake because like during quarantine you don't really like help like have your health thing being an issue <laughs> so you just like eat lots of random food that you wouldn't normally eat and buy stuff that you wouldn't normally buy so yeah so it's time to get back to our normal schedule even though obviously we're still in quarantine and eat healthy again and I can tell you my recipe how to make a chicken salad because I make the best chicken salad in my entire family, not just my house family, but my entire family. And it's really good and really healthy, but it tastes amazing. And it doesn't have anything that some kids don't like, like it doesn't have mayonnaise, it doesn't have tuna, it's just got pieces of chicken breast and it has mixed vegetables that are freshly cut, not like frozen vegetables. Yeah, just have a bit more eggs and I'm going to flatten them down. At this point you can start overlapping them, but they may fall out. Just be a, a bit more careful if they do fall out. So, just get some more eggs. So guys, this looks really good and my mouth is literally almost watering. So yeah, make sure you do wash up after yourselves or get your parents to wash up if you're too young to wash up. And yeah, just going to put just the egg on top. I'm going to put this in my sink. Along with the bread knife and the spoon that I used. Okay, now if you want, you can add any ketchup or something. I might add a bit of ketchup. Okay, guys, I have a bit of ketchup. Don't, you don't have to use laws because then it'll make it really unhealthy. But because it's like, I'm just gonna go like that. Let's just put it in some spots. Normally I would drizzle it, but because obviously it's not a lot left in mine, I wouldn't want to drizzle it. So yeah, then once you've done that, I'm just gonna put it in my ketchup Now you're going to get your top bun, you're going to find the right way it was. You're going to squish it down, but not too hard, because then all of the delicious goodness will fall out. So you can cut it, but I don't like to cut it as it may go everywhere. So you guys, I hope you liked this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what other things you want me to bake in Lacey's Cook Down. And yeah, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and yeah. See you next time. Bye. Mwah. Enjoy your breakfast. Mwah.